In the last video, I made a reference to generating the geometry for, for example, a handle for a bicycle. In case there is a need for creating an object that looks more like a lathe object, so you have some sort of geometry that spins around the axis, there is a secondary approach you could use. So in my situation here, I start with simply a rectangle. And the reason why I do this is I can press W, then I get the specials menu with mainly the most common uh, modeling commands, or I could go to add and subdivide. And I subdivide this rectangle or the surface once. And I do this because now I can select all those points, press X, delete the vertices, and I end up with those two points. And most important, a point that is very close to this edge. And that's, for example, the center. And then I could, for example, press E, press ext to extrude, and then press escape, Z and G, and for example, move this one up. Now I have created basically a rectangle and I have this edge selected. And then I delete this edge. And you might ask yourself now why I do this. Well, if we go to the modifier menu, there is a screw command. If I turn this one on, you see that this object is now turned into a cylinder. So the screw command in Blender is basically a revolve command. I can define how many steps are being taken. For example, right now, as you can see, four steps or 16 steps. And 16 is pretty good in my case. And then I can, for example, go ahead and say, well, subdivide the surface, maybe let's say 10 times. And the reason why I wanted to do this is now I could select all those points. See, actually I need more than 10, I need actually 11. So let's undo it and then subdivide and 11. And then I go again and select each other point. And for example, I can move those points in. Let's take a look what we have. Now you see that we have a very basic kind of like handrail system and it looks very sharp. So I can add another subdivision surface modifier to smooth this one out a little bit. Maybe let's go to a level of three and let's take a look. And there is a normal artifact up there. That's not really a problem because we're dealing here with a line. We can't really change the surface normal, but the screw modifier has a function built in, calculate the order. If I click this, then it updates the surface normals for me. So then Let's say this should be a tube that should be put over my bicycle handle. Then this top point I move, for example, away from the center. See, then it opens it. And then maybe I could press E to extrude, move it down to somewhere there. And then I still have my 3D cursor positioned at the object center. So in case it is somewhere else. I can select this last point that is also at the object center. Press Shift S and say Cursor 2 selected. Then I can select this point, switch my pivot point to 3D Cursor, press E, press Escape, S, X, and 0. So I scale along the X axis to 0. And then maybe here I would like to sharpen this edge. So I create a subdivision 
second maybe here I have to create one subdivision as well with two points and then those two points for example I scale apart so I start sharpening that corner and for example here I create a subdivision move it over let's say to there and in this way as you can see we quickly sculpted kind of like a, a shape that could be put over the handlebar of a bicycle and this one would give you then a 360 degree rotation of this profile and as a small note let me turn optimal display on to go back to the importance of where my object center is similar to the mirror of um, the mirror modifier it is really important where you place your object center so you see that the lathe tool or the screw tool basically works on the object origin as the point of axis and then you have an axis tool to define along what axis you would like the screw command to be applied to and in case you have your object center misplaced that is not really a big deal and let's say those two points are also off it's also not really a big problem all I can do for example now is say I select those two points and then you see I have bonding box turned on I say scale I press X I press 0 so I line up those two points and then maybe I select this point and say shift S cursor to selected point then I leave edit mode go into object mode and then there is under objects tools origin I can click it and then say origin to 3d cursor and then it snaps back to that 3d cursor and my whole design works again and if you would like to position this object now along the z-axis we could go to the property panel and say x and y and z being zero and then it is repositioned.